without actually calculating the cubes, find the value of 48 cube minus 30 cube minus 18 cube. Now this is quite an interesting question. And it also helps you understand why maths is important and why using certain identities, formulas and specific procedures can simplify your entire calculation process. For example, if you are asked to solve this question by actually calculating the cube, just imagine the level of multiplications you will be doing and how complex that multiplication, addition and subtraction will become because of which the risk towards getting a wrong answer increases. So here in this question, we have to solve. In fact, we can very easily solve this expression without actually calculating the cubes. The only condition is you remember the identities and you know how to use it. Let's do it. So the trigger point, like how are we going to solve it? How can we do it without calculating the cubes? Look at the question. We have 48 cube. Then we have 30 cube. And then we have 18 cube. So you see, we have three terms here and we have the cubes. Do you remember any identity where you have something like this? Yes, I remember. There is an identity that says a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c is equal to in bracket we have a plus b plus c and in another bracket we have a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca if we compare we have a cube which can be taken as 48 cube then we have b cube which can be taken as 30 cube and we have c cube which can be taken as 18 cube but we have a problem here here we have plus signs and here we have minus sign so if it is given in this form and unless and until we make it similar we cannot use the identity so our first objective is to see if we can write the given expression in terms of a cube plus b cube plus c cube here we have 48 cube minus 30 cube minus 18 cube now if you see if we put 48 in a bracket and put a cube over here so we get 48 cube and in the next term you see we have the power as 3 and here we have minus symbol minus raised to the power 3 gives us minus we can actually exploit this loophole here so we get plus and inside we make it minus 30 whole cube so as a result when we open this bracket we will be getting minus over here so nothing changes same way in the next term we can do we can put a plus outside take this minus inside with 18 and put it to the power 3 since the power is odd that is 3 when you open this bracket you will get the minus and here you will have the minus so nothing changes so now it is similar to this one although looking at this expression you can see it is still very complex and if we have to do so much of uh, multiplication subtraction then there is no use of using the identity do you observe anything else first of all let's write it like this 
ए क्यू प्लस बी क्यू प्लस सी क्यू वॉट इज ए हियर फोर्टी एट वॉट इज बी हियर थर्टी नो इट इज माइनस थर्टी बिकॉज बी इज द एंटायर थिंग दैट इज इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सेम वे सी इज माइनस एटीन इट मीन्स ए इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट हियर बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी हियर एंड सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस एटीन हियर आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ यू रिमेंबर और इफ यू हैव सीन सम ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन वेर वी हैव यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट If you have not, you can watch or you can just understand it right here. Let's calculate a plus b plus c, which is equal to a is forty-eight, b is minus thirty, plus c is minus eighteen, which is equal to forty-eight minus thirty minus eighteen. That gives us. 48 over here this minus 30 and this minus 18 add up so we get 30 18 48 and this 48 cancels out 48 thus we get it as 0 now if you look at this identity here a plus b plus c this is one of the factors and if this factor is 0 this entire term gets reduced to zero because any number multiplied by zero is zero that means if we just copy it down a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to zero which can be simply written as a cube Plus b cube plus c cube is equal to three a b c. As we have taken this minus three a b c this side. In fact, in the question that I was talking about, I have also explained that this can be used as an identity. If you know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, then rather than doing all these calculations. you can simply straight away use this formula so here a is 48 q plus b is minus 30 q plus c is minus 18 q which is equal to 3 abc a means 48 P means minus thirty and C means minus eighteen, which is equal to. If we multiply these terms, we get here forty-eight into thirty. We can just put zero over here and then eight threes are twenty-four, four two four threes are twelve plus two, fourteen. Then this multiplied by eighteen. So we get here eight into zero zero eight four is thirty two two three eight four is thirty two plus three is thirty five we get five here three eight one is eight plus three eleven put a cross over here and then one that means we get zero into one zero one four is four one four is four one one is one whenever you have one you can simply copy this so we have zero two Five plus four nine four one five one one two, and then this multiplied by three, which is equal to three zero are zero three two are six three nines are twenty seven seven two three fives are fifteen plus two seventeen seven one three two are six one seven, so we get seven 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 six zero. and that is our answer so you see rather than calculating cubes three times and then adding we simply got the answer by multiplying 3 with 
30 and 18. Here it was minus, here it was minus, so minus into minus plus and that is why we have this plus here or no sign. So you see, using the identities in the right way and with the right procedure, you can easily solve the questions rather than getting caught up in its complexities or complex calculations. Just practice it. Remember the identities and also how to use it. Believe me, study mare, not anymore.